Hey guys, before the video gets started, I'd like to show you guys how you guys get notified on when we upload new content, whether it being beat videos, tutorials, or beat sessions. Just go to the subscribe button, click it, you'll be subscribed, and then click this, send me all notifications for this channel, save. And what that'll do is you'll be notified whenever we upload a new video. Now time to get into the video. What is up guys, it is Andrew Rapier here of b at Production and Publishing bringing you guys a new YouTube video. In this YouTube video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you guys can make super fast beats or beats super fast um, with little ease and even for beginners. You guys don't, you don't need to be any professional or anything. Now, before I get started, please subscribe and hit that notification button so you guys are notified whenever we upload videos. I think the reason why not a lot of people get our videos or we don't get a lot of initial viewers, even though we have like 10 to almost 11,000 subscribers right now, is because uh, not many people even know we're dropping new videos every single day. So hit that notification button so you guys get not notified whenever we drop videos and also give us a like. Now. I'm gonna go ahead and get started on this video. Uh, so, I guess I'm gonna just uh, start out and say a really quick way to make beats is saving your score in MIDI or FL Studio score files. And that, some people might be like, well, if you're using the same uh, melodies and chords, then are you really making different beats? Well, you can always change it. So. I'm currently over here in the AT MIDI and Melody Loop Kit 3.0. This is available at beta.at.com as well as all these other drum kits and MIDI files. I'm gonna go ahead and grab this. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and first change the BPM to 150. I'm gonna get this trap chords. Tell me it's 123 BPM, but I think 150 will be fine. So I'm gonna go do a Grand Noir uh, piano. Go ahead and play. So maybe if I uh, put a growth speed on this, well, let me show you how we could change this to, uh, let's go to 120 BPM. If you hold shift, go up one, two. And the thing is, you're getting MIDI files, so you can always change these notes, get rid of some, add some in, it's all good. And if you guys do buy our MIDI and Melody drum kits over at beatat.com, they're royalty free. What does that mean? You can just toss them in right in your VSTs and boom, bada bing, it doesn't matter. We're not going to look out and uh, try to track you guys down to take your royalties. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and change this BPM to 150. Go ahead and grab a gross beat, put it in the mixer channel. Go in here, pull up a preset. Just going into one of my presets. I'm gonna do just uh, the half speed. So you guys can see how we can uh, immediately go ahead and get started. I'm gonna go ahead and raise my volume in my headphones. My go ahead and toss in the isotope vinyl effect. This is a free plugin, by the way. And the, the thing is, you guys can go ahead and just make your own melody, so MIDI. So technically, let's just, I don't know, change the code to helper, scale highlighting, G sharp. Um, let's just do that. Ba ba ba. Da, da, da. I have no idea what melody, what this would sound like. I'm just clicking in, kind of guessing. So, I mean, and what you could do is just go to File, Export as MIDI. Give it a second. 
And then you could just go ahead and save it and then drag it and drop it into whatever VST. And that's how you guys can make your own MIDI. And so what that means is if you create a whole bunch of MIDI and you just have a whole library of it, you could just go ahead and start tossing it on your different VSTs, change a couple of notes, change the uh, key of it, hold shift, go up, go up two or go down two. And then just make sure all your notes are on key, listen it through, and then just go ahead and start making a new beat. And I'm not trying to like essentially uh, tell you guys to be lazy with your beat making. I'm just saying if you guys are having a beat block or you need a starting position, this might be a good way to uh, go ahead and get started. And what that really means is you guys can just get right to it and make as many beats as you can in one day. I mean, this is a very competitive industry, so you guys need to stay on top of it if you guys want to compete with other people. Those producers that are making 20 beats in a day. How many are you making? And I'm not saying that all those beats are fire. I'm just saying how, out of those 20 beats, your chances of making a, getting that hit might increase. So you got to have that work ethic. So if I'm just making just a little basic beat, I mean, all of these are drum samples over at beatat.com as well. And also, guys, if you uh, sign up on beatat.com, you guys will get notifications for deals, sales, and much more. We're about to do this big bundle pack for all of our loops. So people could save about like 25% on all of the loops as well as all the drum kits. So I'm going to go ahead and grab a kick. I'm just, you know, playing around. Nothing too serious. I'm going to show you guys, like, how fast you can make your beats. I don't know how fire this is going to sound. but And also, well, what happens if you don't like making hi-hat patterns? I do this a lot, honestly. Go ahead, grab some hi-hats. Okay, so we, we got a little too many over here. I don't want to make this too long of a video. I just want to show you guys how you guys could go ahead and get started making beats really fast. Because I know a lot of people have spend like a long time making one beat, which is fine. Sometimes I do that. But what happens with those people are like, man, I don't like spending four hours making a beat. Which me personally, I don't know when the last time it was that I spent four hours on a beat. Um but then again, I've been doing this for about seven, eight years. A little different. Three years every single day. Um, and that's part of the grind. You got to do it every single day. Because if you're not doing it every single day, someone else is, someone else is they're going to be that much better than you. But I also understand that people have lives and, you know, jazz. So I'm going to go ahead and grab these kicks. Control C, Control V, Control A, Control L. Control A to select everything, Control L to stretch it. So I think it's a G sharp. So I probably need to do this. This isn't like a beat tutorial, guys. This is just showing you guys how you can make a beat super fast. I guess it is a tutorial in some sense, but I'm gonna do a little slide. Oh, we still got some, uh, get rid of some of these. We don't need these. So, I mean, you guys can see how you can just immediately get started and start 
making beats immediately. And you don't need to call it like a finished beat. You could just save this going to the next one. And you could do like a batch of five of them. And whichever one's the best one, you go, all right, this is the one I'm going to stick with. And I'm going to finish it out. And then when you're bored, you could pull up those other projects. I mean, it's all about work ethic, how you're going to bang out as many beats as you can. And how, ma- how are you going to get on top of the other producers? Pause. <laughs> But, yeah, I just wanted to make a quick video for you guys. Let me know what you guys think. Leave a comment. Subscribe. Don't forget, if you subscribe, hit that notification button so you get notified whenever we drop a new video. And also, I had another thing I wanted to say. I don't know. Thumbs up, like, comment, share, and subscribe. This is Andrew Pierre, and I'll see you guys later.